Hello and welcome to an arms day routine for upright bow flexes. My name is Eric and in today's video we are going to be blasting those biceps and triceps with a total of 20 sets of work and we're going to be doing it in a hit style routine. So we're going to be working out to this clock behind me here. Hit intervals are going to be 35 seconds on, 25 seconds off. So we're going to be rolling through this routine really quickly. The first half of it is going to be from the bottom set of pulleys. We're going to have a two minute half time where we re-rack the cables and run through the top set of pulleys. All of our lifts today, I'm going to be actually using an extra set of carabiner clips on my handles here. You can see I've clipped in a second one down here. And the reason for that is a lot of these exercises, I find that I run out of cable length right at the end of the rep and hopefully this extra carabiner clip can help us complete the whole rep. And I'd recommend you set that up, but it's not a, you know, a necessity for this routine. And I'm also gonna use that extra clip right up in the top set of pulleys. So um, we won't be using the seat today. Uh, I guess I'll have it for a few alternate exercises that I'll be showing, but we'll get to that later on. So you won't need that seat. You can go ahead and detach it now. And you can also be running your pulleys right now. So I've got this in the middle pulley position down here. And then right up top, I have it in the second narrowest position. So it's kind of slim up here, but you can have it out a little bit wider if you'd like. So if you're new to the channel, well, welcome. And I hope you enjoy me for this routine. Uh, I regularly post these workout routines and there's a whole bunch of other videos on the channel as well. And, uh, and you know, if you've come back, well, you know, shoot it a little like, drop me a comment below. It's been a little while since I posted a, a workout routine for this machine. So, uh, you know, just show a little love and uh, glad to have you back. So with all that out of the way, we are going to have a little four minute warm up. Then we're going to rack up the resistance and we'll see you back for that right now. All right, let's start out with some jogging in place here. While we're doing this, I'm going to go ahead and tell you about all of our different exercises we'll be doing today. First thing up is going to be some bicep curls, just your natural bicep curl on the machine. Then we're going into some tricep extensions. We'll be doing a reverse curl. From there then, we're going to be racking up the resistance from the top set of pulleys and moving into another tricep extension. This is going to be a standing tricep extension though. And I'll show a variant. So you can do it from a kneeling position too. Then we're going to do some standing bicep isolation curls. This is one of my favorite bicep exercises. And then from there, tricep push down. And then, I know I said this is all arms, but there's going to be some optional bonus work here. And that'll be some crunches from the top set of pulleys. This little timer that's up on the screen, this is going to count down to zero when the arm work ends. Because that, uh, that extra work, that's going to be you know, some optional bonus work. So we're going to be winding down this jog in place here. And let's move into some bent arm circles. So for this, we're going to bend our arms kind of in a W. And we're just rotating it around. Really try to loosen up your chest and your back. And we're just trying to get nice and loose. Let's change directions here. For me now, it feels like I'm swimming. Okay, let's move into some arm pulls. So you can do arm pulls where you pull the arm across the body or over your head here, whatever feels good to you. And we're gonna hold each side for about 20 seconds, really stretch that arm out. Okay, let's switch sides here. Just a little bit longer, and then we're gonna move into some full head rotations. Okay, so we're just gonna go right into a full spin here. Just trying to loosen up our neck. Now let's change directions. Okay, up next then we're gonna do some torso twists where we're just gonna take a nice stable stance, spin around, kind of loosen up our spine, get a nice twisting motion in. And 
Then we're removing this some finger pulls. We want to just loosen up our forearms, loosen up our, our fingers and our grip. And then as this winds down, for the last 30 seconds, I'm going to leave it up to you. Whatever stretch you want to do, if you want to do a little bit more jogging in place, whatever you feel you need today. I think I might do some lunge to reach. So if you want to follow along with me, let's go into that lunge position here. I might be reaching up. Do what you need though. Okay, as this timer ticks down, we're going to start racking up our weight. Okay, so for weight settings, heavy weight setting, 80 plus pounds of power rods, medium, I go 50 pounds, lightweight, I go 20, maybe 30 pounds. And you know, as I always say, we're all at our own levels. Choose a resistance setting that feels good to you. I'm feeling pretty good. So I'm going to actually be racking up 90 pounds of power rods. And when I've been uh, practicing this routine, I've been going with, going with 100. I always got to drop it a little bit, so I, I am not totally out of breath talking through this. So first lift, bicep curls. You know, if you got a little extra time, just test this weight setting. Feel, see if it feels good to you. So feet are right at the base of the machine. All I'm going to be doing is keeping those elbows locked in place, standing up nice and tall and curling this weight up. So when the timer hits zero, I want you joining me for our first set here. And we are going to be curling up. And I want you to really think about the negative on this. So slowly lowering the weight. While we're doing a hit style workout, might be tempting to go really fast. You really just want to stay in control. And these HIIT workouts, for me, it's a lot about reducing rest time. Okay, so we're gonna do that lift three times in a row. So as I was saying though, reducing rest time, this is gonna help keep our heart rate up, burn more calories throughout this routine. And, uh, you know, keep it going, being respectful of your time to, uh, you know, get this workout in as quick as we can. So next set though, let's get in position, exact same set. Now let's curl it up. Nice and smooth. These are going to get harder throughout this routine. So if you're failing at this point, you probably need to drop the weight just a little bit because we are going to have a total of 10 sets of biceps and 10 sets of triceps. Yeah. One more set of these curls and then we're going to go into a tricep kickback. Okay, when this clock hits five seconds, I want you in position, ready to go for each set today. All right, let's go. Finish these curls out strong. Exhale on the way up. Slowly lower. You got 10 more seconds, you got this. All right, there we go. So we got a little bit longer rest interval between different exercises, and that's partly so you got some time to try out the weight setting for this next one. So for this, I'm gonna be basically in line with the machine here, and then I flare this elbow out, and then I'm gonna kick back this handle 
so my arm is straightened out. So I'm trying to keep my arm running parallel to the ground and then I'm just rotating the hand with the handle around it. So you want to get in a nice stable stance here, get in position now, and let's flare it out. So since this is a one arm lift, I decided to shorten up the one arm intervals just a little bit. So we only got 25 seconds of work on each side, but we're also getting a shorter rest interval. Okay, so just 20 seconds of rest here. Stay with me. Other side. I like having this forearm up against the bench. Get really nice and low and stable. And now let's kick it back. Ten more seconds. Okay. We're already one quarter of the way through today's routine. Just rolling right through it. Okay. Back to the other side. Let's get low. Here we go. Okay, other side. Five seconds, let's get in position. Elbow out, extend it back. 25 seconds of this, come on. Take it nice and slow, especially on the negative. Five more seconds. All right, next lift we got coming up, reverse curls. Same weight as you did before. And we're gonna be basically using the same weight setting all the way up until the final lift where we're gonna change it. So for a vice reverse curl, stand up like this, back up against the backrest, my shoulders are well above it, and then I'm just curling right on up. All right, let's keep moving, team. We got three sets of this, and then we have a little break period coming up. Ten more seconds. Okay. Two more sets. So these next two sets, what I want you to focus on a little bit is it's called an isometric hold. After you curl the weight up, hold it up here for half a second, maybe a full second even, and then drop the weight down. Control the weight the entire rep. All right, here we go. If those biceps are not feeling it yet, you need to up the weight a little bit. I know I'm struggling. OK. 
Okay. One more set of this. All right, stay with me. Let's get in position now. Here we go. So we're coming up on that two minute half time after this, so just keep working. And don't let yourself quit at halftime. I see my YouTube stats. And whenever I change pulley positions, I see some people drop out. Don't be one of them. You came here to get this whole routine in. So let's go. Okay. Minute 45 to change pulley position. Again, I'm just gonna run it through the top set of pulleys here. And again, I'm gonna be keeping the extra carabiner clip hooked up here. For a little extra cable length. My weight setting, I'm gonna recommend keeping it at the same weight setting, try it out. And uh, you know, we can see what works for you. Okay, I'm all set up. I'm gonna go ahead and start demoing the next lift. And this is gonna be a tricep extension. So from here, I'm gonna be just standing on my platform here and I'm gonna then tuck my elbows kind of into my sides and then I'm gonna be extending these handles down just like this. Now, if you find you're running out of cable length, this is where that seat comes in. You can put the seat up at the highest position kneel on it, and then do this tricep extension from this position here. Okay. Break time's over. This is just a quarter circle turn. Try to keep those elbows in place. Again, take them nice and slow. All right. How are we feeling out there? I hope everybody made it through halftime. And again, this little timer that's up on the screen, this is ticking down for just the arm portion of the workout. There's this bonus ab work. You're welcome to stay through or you're welcome to quit at that point, but stick with me through this arm work. Exhale as you push down. Inhale as you slowly raise them up. And you can have this isometric hold on this lift as well. Hold it in this fully extended position. Let's hold it for a second and then release. Oh, that's tough. Okay. We've got four more sets of tricep, four sets of bicep coming up and shoot four sets of abs. So we got four, 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 Remaining, you can do this. In position, drop them down. Let's add that isometric hold for all of these reps in the set. Down and hold it. 
and release. Five more seconds, two more reps. There we go. Nice. All right, standing isolation curls coming up here. So you're gonna grab one side with one arm here, and then I like getting about a foot away from the machine just so there's a little bit of tension in the cable. I'm gonna put the other arm on my hip, and then I'm gonna be curling this weight towards my body. And we're ticking down here. Everybody join me. And let's go. Now, if hopefully this is a good weight setting for you. If it's not enough, step a little further away from the machine. If it's too much, get a little closer. You know, or you could, I guess, adjust the weight setting. So keep it going, short rest intervals, short work intervals on these one arm exercises. Let's get in position for the next one. A little tension in the cable, and now let's curl. 25 seconds. Ten more seconds to go. Come on. Okay. Final set of bicep curls coming up. I want you to try to hold it in the flex position for a second on all of these reps here. Here we go. Three, two. One, let's go. So curl, hold it, and then slowly release. Curl, hold, and release. Ten more seconds to go. Okay. One more set here, other arm. All right, here we go. Curl it up. Get that hold in there. Okay, nice. Okay, so I'm gonna be up in my weight setting by 50% here. So I'm going up to about 150 pounds of power rods and uh, recommend you bump up yours as well for our final lift. This is gonna be the tricep push down. This is another one where you can use the seat if you need it. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna be facing away from the machine here Bring these handles here to your side and we are just pressing them down and I get this feeling like I'm pressing up out of a swimming pool I'm about to step over the ledge here and again you can be kneeling if you need it and we're gonna be pressing down here now I like kind of cocking my elbows back as I do this And then pressing down into a fully extended arm, cocking them back, and repeat. Okay, I need a little more resistance here. I'm gonna add one of my elastic bands, hopefully, stay caught up here.
Now, if you haven't seen me use these bands before, I'll link the upgrade video in the description of this video. Great way to inexpensively add a lot of resistance. So, and that is a lot more resistance here for me. Cock those elbows back, extend them down. Hopefully you can press into a full extension. <sighs> Exhale as you press down. Okay. One more set of arm work and then we have that optional ab work coming up. If you are doing the optional ab work, I'd recommend dropping the weight sitting um, back to pretty much what you had when you're doing bicep work. But let's finish our arm portion out. Here we go. Press it down. Finish strong, team. Let's go. You got 20 more seconds. It's okay if you're struggling. You know, you build muscle when you're struggling the most. So finish strong. Five seconds. Okay. So if you just came here for the arm work, you're welcome to drop. But if you want to, you know, get a little ab work in, let's get into that now. So I'm just dropping my weight setting here. And I'm going back to what I did for biceps. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hook up my seat and I'm gonna put it one rung lower than I normally would. I'm gonna take these handles here and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crunch down. These handles, I'm gonna bring down to kind of my shoulders and then I'm gonna kind of crunch down. Actually, I'm gonna bring up the seat one. All right, seat's in the normal position. There we go, that's a lot better. And I'm just crunching down. And we got four sets of these, so be feeling out the weight. And I also made these sets 40 on, 20 off, because we haven't been working out our abs today. So the short rest intervals, that's, that's to challenge you and your core. Whew. Okay. Get back in position, get ready to drop, and let's crunch. Let's hold it in the fully crunch position for a second, raise it up, and when you raise up, Go into a fully extended position here and then drop back down. You should have tension in the cables the whole way through. Ten more seconds. All right, a little break here. So this routine, this is actually gonna be added to an existing program I have. So if you're a Ko-Fi member, or if you're interested in workout programs, I'll have a link to this, uh, this program in the description of the video as well. Let's get back to crunching though. And so this routine is being added to my push-pull leg series which in the past has always been a three-day program, three-day a week, push day, one day, take a day off, leg day, take a day, and a pull day. But now I'm adding an arm day to it as well. 
to make it a four day program. Ooh. And since there's no ab day in that push, pull, legs, arms, we're doing the bonus work. So if you're looking for a little more structure, a little more advice, or, or just, you know, you want satisfaction of completing a whole program, check that stuff out. It all supports me directly, and I really appreciate it. Oh, you're almost there. Hopefully those abs are getting a nice burn in now. Ten more seconds. Almost there. All right. There we did it. Finished with arm day and bonus core work. So you can remove your power rods from tension. I'm gonna wrap mine up with a bungee cord. I wanna thank all of you for joining me for today's routine. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're using any of the trackers, be sure you comment down below. I also wanna give a big shout out to my Ko-Fi Elite members that have been supporting me for a long time. I appreciate all of you. So thank you to Ko-Fi members and thank you for you know, making it through this whole video. You should be proud of yourself for finishing. And I want to tell you, as always, be good to yourself, be good to others, and thank you for watching.